Hey guys, so I'm going to just go ahead and hop straight on into this video. So I'm using 20, not 24 bundles, I'm using 4 bundles and 24 inch um, bundles in a lace closure. And I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves and get started. For this, I will be using L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleaching Powder. I use about one scoop each bundle. And... I actually want to use 10 volume developer for um, to bleach my bundles. I know most people just use 10 volume to deposit color, but I'm going to use it for to lighten it. I don't want to get it that light, but trust me, I'm going to be able to get this bright red just using 10 volume. So I'm mixing up my um, bleach, getting it to the consistency that I want. And <clears throat> if, if it's not like loose how I like it when I'm putting it on my bundles, then I just add more developer. So now I'm just going to start by the lightening the ends and just working my way up the bundle and making sure I get inside of the bundle, beginning that I didn't you know take it um, unroll the bundle I'm gonna make sure this part is very tedious um, when you if I was doing like a blonde and wanted to keep it blonde then I wouldn't then I would unfold the bundle but because I'm going to deposit a red to it I'm going I it's fine it's perfectly fine leaving it um, rolled up however you still want to make sure that you get all inside your bundle not missing a piece and then making sure you don't <clears throat> making sure you kind of turn your brush see how like I'm turning it vertical once I get to the top to kind of just make it look like it just flows into the red versus just having like this straight line of demarcation you want to make sure you turn it, your brush vertical so it can kind of just flow into it and sorry if I sound like I sound a little crazy y'all. I have a cold so I'm trying to talk and do this voice over and it's kind of hard because I'm kind of like stuffy. But anywho, so yeah. Um, what I'm going to do next after I apply the um, finish applying all the bleach, I'm going to take this 40 volume developer and I'm just going to pour it on my brush like a very very little bit and then just kind of like rub it onto my um rub it onto the bundles and just like literally a very little bit and this is going to help keep it from drying out from your bleach to dry out because you, I really hate when I've been letting it process and then I look at it maybe about 20 minutes into it and my bleach is dried out so putting the 40 volume developer up there is going to keep your bleach from drying out so you can get the um, process and it's not going to damage your bundles. So I'm just going to place this in my aluminum foil and set it to a side and complete the rest of my bundles. I did not show you guys me bleaching the rest of my bundles because it's pretty much the exact same step that you just seen. But now I am going to show you guys how I bleach my closure. And you want to make sure that you don't bring it up as high as you brought it up on your bundles because your closure is going to sit at the top of your head so you want to make sure everything kind of flows you don't want um, your closure the red in your closure to be super duper high and then it flows and it's just covering the black on your bundles where the you know where the natural color is if that makes sense I hope it makes sense but um yeah so you just want to be careful to where you um placing your bleach because with it sitting on the top of your head that's where it's gonna fall for all you want to make sure it falls well and I'm also going to um, bleach the knots um yeah so I'm just gonna kind of pat the bleach onto the lace I'm not gonna rub it because I don't want to get it and end up bleaching like through the hair but I'm going to bleach the knots and I'm going to whew, Sorry, I'm going to set that aside and um, put that, we'll put that on the foot and set that aside as well.
And now I'm going to set my timer on about 35 minutes and let it process. And after it's finished processing, this is the color that I got to. So I shampooed it with um, Iso Plus Neutralizing Shampoo and I conditioned it. And now I'm going to go in with Adore Crimson. And I think I brought about three of them, but I only used, no, I don't even think I used two full bottles. But yeah, so I'm going to go in with my Adore Crimson and distribute that throughout the hair. My phone is like blowing up. And... Yeah. So I'm going to let this process overnight after I distribute that throughout the hair. So I let it process for maybe about 8 hours and it's perfectly fine to sit on the hair because it's just a rinse. So it's a semi-permanent. So yeah, it's not going to damage the hair at all by letting it sit for a while. And after I let it sit for 8 hours, I rinsed it out. And this is the finished result. It's so vibrant. Um, the lighting is not <laughs> letting it. <laughs> the lighting is not letting you guys see the real. How it really. How good it. How red it really looks. But yes. Yeah, so now I'm going to go in and make my wig. And I already have a video up on that. I will link my video on how I make my wigs below. So you guys can check that out. And so I'm going to go in and wand curl it. With my red, I don't know, what is that? My three-fourths an inch, three-fourths inch wand curler. And this is the finished look. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up, please comment, and subscribe to my channel if you do not subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.